Hi everyone! Today I will share with you a short video on depletion silvering. This is not a tutorial, do not repeat anything shown in this video. Depletion silvering is a method of improving the look of silver alloys by treating their surface so they look like pure silver or an alloy that contains significantly higher amount of silver. Making sterling silver look like fine silver is no challenge. Even bilon, that is an alloy with less than 50% of silver, can be improved to resemble silver of much higher purity. Unlike silver plating that achieves this by adding a thin layer of pure silver, depletion silvering forms such a layer by removing the base metal on the surface of treated object. Despite being more costly than silver plating, depletion silvering was widely used in antiquity. In fact, the method has been independently discovered by multiple different cultures. Roman mints used it to try to hide the progressive debasement of their silver coins. Long story short, from the beginning of the reign of Nero to the reign of Aurelian, the silver content of Denarius coin dropped from 95 to 5%. Roman mints used depletion silvering to make the coins look halfway presentable. Before they had to resort to plating because silver content was too low to depletion silver them. I have decided to do a bit of experimental archaeology to recreate this interesting bit of monetary history. To do so I have weighed 1 gram of fine silver shot and 4 grams of electrical copper wire and prepare an alloy that contains 20% silver. I went with 20% because such an alloy was used in the time of Emperor Valerian and the mint still managed to make it look like fine silver. To melt and alloy the metals I used a map gas torch. I had to bend the wire to get it to fit into the small foamed concrete DIY crucible I was using.
The alloy has a very obvious reddish color, and as such could never be confused for silver. To depletion silver this bead of silver alloy, I hammered it into a coin blank, heated it up so the surface copper oxidized, and put it into wine vinegar so the acetic acid would leach the copper from the surface. Unrelated but still good to know is the reason for the formation of cracks at the edges of the coin blank and how they could have been prevented. Instead of hammering the blank to the end thickness in one go, I should have stopped once or twice and heated the workpiece to red heat. This is called annealing and it serves to soften the metal and make it less brittle and prone to cracking. Here is how it works. Deforming a material introduces flaws into the crystal lattice. The flaws make material harder and more prone to cracking. This is called work hardening. And is the reason why a copper wire will crack if you bend it in the same place enough times. Those flaws are removed by heating the piece to a high enough temperature. The atoms have enough energy to move and fix the crystal structure. After an hour in the vinegar, I fished out the coin blank and struck it with a hammer to smooth out the silver sponge that formed on the surface. It already looked much better than the starting material. After second leaching, a red spot and an interesting pattern became visible. It remained even after smoothing the surface, so I repeated the process for the third time. The process works. If I repeated it few more times, left the blank in the vinegar overnight, or if I boiled it in it, I am sure I could get a very good surface plating. Well, I had no time for that, so I lived up to the spirit of the Roman mints by cheating with chemicals they would have surely used had they existed in their time. First I tried bleach. It turned the blank black and after gently polishing it with aluminium foil showed that it worked much better than just vinegar. But there was still some reddish sheen so I brought out something I knew could not fail. 1% nitric acid. After only 10 minutes and with no oxidation step, the color was noticeably lighter. Here it is, before and after I smacked it with a hammer. While the end product was still noticeably darker than fine silver, it does look, at least to my untrained eyes, quite close to lightly toned sterling silver. This was quite interesting to try. Please comment down below if you know of any other similar tricks. Thank you for watching, like, share, subscribe and see you next week.